Okay. Alright. This is a video of how to unroot the EVO 3D. If you have it rooted on 2.3.4. And you did it with the HCC method. And you're on 1.50H boot. I learned how to do this myself. So... I don't know if there's any videos on YouTube, but I couldn't find none because I was looking for some because my phone had a lot of problems. Like when I had it rooted, I don't have it rooted now, but I'll still show you how to do it. You see, I don't have super user anywhere there. Um, that phone right there just says it's just a Motorola Atrix. Just have to just follow like leave you there. All right, let's get on. Um. Alright, what you're going to need, I'm going to put the links in the description, the downloads that you're going to need. And if you did the HTC method and you rooted it and everything and all that, and you want to go back to normal, like factory stock, like completely stock, everything will be gone. And it will take you back to regular firmware, all of that stuff. See Android 2.3.4. HEC Sense version 3.0, software number 2.0.2.08.651.2. And then the kernel will go back to its normal 2.6.3.5.13. And then all of that stuff will go back to its normal stuff. And yeah, alright. Alright, let me continue. Alright, um, you're gonna go to. You're going to need to download these two links right here. Or actually, I think it's actually one link. Yeah. Alright, what you're going to need to do first is you're going to have to get your USB cable. Hold on. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Plug it in. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Alright. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna want to plug it in. All right. You're gonna want to put it on. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to power. You're gonna want to select fast boot off, but making sure there's no check there. There, no check. All right. Actually, I don't know why I put the USB cable in, but there was no point in that. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is, since you unlocked it with the HTC method, you're going to turn it off. Oh my god, this is being a mess. Hold on. Alright, you're going to power it off. pretty good phone all right the phone yeah the phone is off all right now you're gonna do volume button over here volume button down the volume down button and the power button on the top you're gonna click both of them until you go to your boot the boot loader all right wow this is actually a little too bright all right good I right, see my H boot right there Recovery, factory reset, semi lock, image CRC. Alright, what you're gonna do is since you're on fast boot right now, you're gonna wanna see. Wait, let me show you before I go. See, it's locked right there. It says shooter XC and it says S on H boot 1.50.0000. Alright, so what you're gonna do is hold on. You're gonna connect it. You're gonna connect the phone. Hold on. Let me see. Alright, click fast boot and it's gonna take you to fast boot right there, the red one. When you click on fast boot, you click on the fast boot by clicking down on I mean clicking the power button. You plug in the USB cable and then it's gonna say Fast boot USB. Plug it in right there in the cable. Alright. Then we're gonna switch the computer again. You're gonna go to the start menu 
open a command prompt on Windows. I don't know how to do it on Mac or Linux. I think it's a shell or something like that that it's called. But yeah. Alright. What you're going to need is you're going to need this file called um, root evil 3d new. I'm going to put that in the thing in the description. You're going to download it. You're going to put it in the directory of your C drive, which is this. All right, and let me see. Go to computer. You're going to put it right there. And you put it in C. You're going to go up and you're going to drop it in there and it's going to be this file right here. That root evil 3D new file. I'm trying to get it to focus. All right, but that's what it's going to be the root evil 3D new file. And then you're just going to close out of that, but make sure you drop it in your HP C drive right there. All right, then you go to your users thing. And what you're going to write is you're going to write CD space slash that one right there. Root evil evil 3D new. And you're going to press enter. You're going to be root evil 3D new. After that, you're going to put fast boot OEM lock. All right. Then you're going to press enter. And then it's going to say, well, mine says mine is already locked. As you can see there, it's already relocked. Here it's going to say, it's going to say your device has been locked or something like that. I don't remember what I put, but it said that. So my right now says the bootloader device was already locked and because I already unlocked it yesterday. All right. With this method right here, after you do this, you are able to root it again, which I might end up rooting it again, but I'm going to put a different one like the tweak synergy ROM. Right there is locked. And then it's going to say when, when you put that, it's going to say relocked and security warning under it, under the phone right there under relock is going to say security warning in the same letters in that purple stuff then right here all you got to do is just x out then you got to download this don't worry if it doesn't let you move anything at all just download this file right here where is it that file right there it's called ruu shooter s sprint we the file the radio the north from whatever the whatever that stuff is and then you're just going to open it and it's going to take you through a whole setup and then it's going to say if you want to do all of this and, you, and all of that hold on if you want to like put it back to its normal factory stock see and it's going to take you through there just in case I can't do it but after you do like everything it's going to take you and then at the end it's going to say complete it's going to say it's going to take 10 minutes um leave your scream on do not turn it off after that then it's going to take you through all of that stuff and the phone will just reboot and it'll turn on like if you got it brand new and that's it and wait let me see because right now it's loading maybe it'll, i'll be able to show you a little bit more but yeah, after that, it's going to say congratulations, your ROM and everything you see. Here we go. HTC Android Phone ROM Update Utility. Welcome to ROM Update. I understand the condition. This will apply this ROM. Yes. You press Update the ROM. Yes. Then you put Next. And then you put, you see, you got to do all of that. Turn on your Android phone to connect to the PC's USB cable. When it's in that mode that I showed you, relocked, and, um, and it's going to say security warning. Disable the standby hibernation modes on your PC and make sure the battery is more than 30%. If you have a laptop, make sure it's, it has a lot of power. And if you have your phone, make sure that it has a lot of power when you do that step. But since it will be plugged into the computer, I don't think you would need to because it will be charging at the same time. Alright, so then you put, I've completed this test below above. And so then it's going to say that, then it's going to do all the stuff, it's going to take like 10 minutes after that, then it's going to say congratulations, you think, and that's it. Right now it's doing that, but I don't have the phone connected, so I won't be able to do anything to it. 
Alright, alright, and then after that, it will be ready to go, you go through all your stuff, you turn it on, it will turn on just like when you first got it, stack, factory stock and everything, ROM, everything, alright, um, rate, comment, subscribe, um, like the video, I'm trying to get this video big, and have fun with your new unruly phone, oh yeah, and I will be making more videos like this and stuff like that. Uh, about phones and stuff and videos of like my system in my room I'll be taking any song requests for bass and how it sounds all right rate comment subscribe and see you later like the video all right